everyone, it's Sizzle Labs, and this is Stoblog. Hope everyone's had a fast today. I'm having an utterly amazing one myself. And uh, in between episodes, I've done a lot. So let's kind of take a look here, kind of get right back to it. Uh, I did kind of redecorate this room a little bit. We've got these blocks here. These are the laboratory blocks. And uh, we also got some factory yellow black caution stripes. Uh, they're both done with chisel. So you just make the chisel, kind of put, you know, whatever blocks in there and uh, kind of craft that up. You do have to make the base one. So if you want to do, say, like a factory block, factory. Go right here. I think these, no, these are the base ones here. Uh, just take some iron and some stone. Did you kind of go to use on that? I guess over here. And just make one of these chisels, right? Then you can just chisel it up. And um, get access to all different kinds of blocks here. And I did the same thing with the laboratory. And that uh, just looks pretty good, man. <laughs> pretty neat. So yeah, I did that. I got that done. You might notice they have these kind of dark blocks here. That's actually glass that we can fly through. It's called uh, dark and effable glass. So we go to here and go to ineffable. Check that out. You need these uh, moonstones. To get the moonstones, it's just lunar reactive dust done in the resonator with lapis. So, not a big deal. Got it done. I did add that around all the portals. So, I think it looks pretty neat. Happy with how it turned out and pretty pretty amazing. You may notice, too, I'm flying around a lot quicker. The way I did that is with this, the flying ring, I, I upgraded this thing. So, I went to the end, uh, just flew around, found some end cities, found the ones with the ships, got two elytras. Once you get your elytras here, you kind of get this done. Uh, all you really need, you kind of take the base angel ring, combine it with two water mills, and then boom. You get this one here, which takes the grid power need uh, for the angel ring completely off it. This doesn't take angel ring anymore. I don't have to worry about our, uh, about our grid power ever kind of getting overloaded and having it turned off and falling anymore. So that is pretty fantastic. But you can upgrade it one more time, like I said, with the elytras, and then it adds the speed to it. So this thing <laughs> is really silly how fast it is. I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Um, coming off the air charm to this is just a beautiful thing. Uh, over here, I did some more chickens. So we got some slime chickens. We got blaze rod. I redid my, uh, ender pearl one. Got a cow chicken, which is, uh, pretty hilarious. He actually looks like a cow, I have to say. Then we got the nether wart. We got, uh, all the ender IO materials. So dark steel. We got conductive iron. We got energetic alloy. Redstone alloy. Pulsating iron. Vibrant alloy. And electrical steel. So we did a quite a big a jump there, I have to say. Because now we can get into all the conduits from Ender IO, and that's going to kind of make our life a lot easier with any kind of piping. And uh, we're getting pretty close to not really being done, but getting into the really important chickens, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, over here, I did kind of add a few more dynamos. I think just another six. These things are super easy to make now, and uh, I just did a couple of the upgrades as well. And with the 10, we have 10 total. We have a maximum of about 2,400 RF. And uh, yeah, didn't have to do anything. Lev is having no trouble kind of keeping up there. Over here, I added this. This may look a little strange here, but get this little star effect in the background, which actually looks pretty awesome, I have to say. The only problem with it is, uh, I guess back here, it kind of stops rendering. It's like not really far distance. So you wouldn't want it like in a really big room because it would kind of pop in and not look that great. I found that with a mod called Nice. Go to here, go to Nice, I think. Nice. <laughs> down here, they're down here, actually. Uh, yeah, particle blocks. Super easy to make. They just take glass and die, and uh, then you're good to go. Um, if you kind of highlight it here, uh, select what the item to change the item is not consumed. Uh, diamond for sparkles, so you just use diamond on it, make the sparkles. When you first put them down, they already have the uh, smoke effect on them, but you can use a fish and give it a fish effect. It's like a little fish, almost like a fish tank, and uh, you also have water for bubbles. So, yeah, I just thought it looked really cool behind the portals, and uh, I did it with both of them, actually. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty neat. Just wanted to try it out and see what the mod is about. I've never seen that mod before. I did kind of set this one up too, this uh, mob farm here, to get ready to go to kind of automate this. It's going to be for wither skeletons. Uh, something we're going to get to. I did go to the nether. I did grab another wither skeleton. So I got in a cursed lasso. We're going to have to move him over to, I think, a mob imprisonment tool. Uh, because we're going to use the mob duplicator for this one. Kind of do it a little different, right? I did set up another fan. I got some more lights back here. So everything is good to go in that regards. And okay, the first thing I want to get to here is going to be an item called the Dragon Mill. We're going to make one of those really quickly. Should take but a second. But uh, we already have Nether Star, so I figure why not? Uh, this puppy here is going to go ahead and give us, well, 500 more GP uh, for doing nothing, just for a Dragon Egg. So I figure, yeah, pretty good good use of it. Uh, there isn't a lot of use for the Dragon Eggs, actually. Uh, I kind of looked. There wasn't tons of things. A couple things there, but not a big deal. This is going to be the biggest use, because when we finally get into the all the generators from extra utilities, uh, this is going to be just GP that we could use for upgrades, right? So that is pretty sweet. 
But anyway, we're going to pop that down there. And uh, now we have 579 GP. And uh, that is awesome. So I just wanted to do that really quick. Get that set up. Show you it was a thing. And then kind of move on here. Uh, what I want to get to next is set up a Wither Skeleton Farm. So we're going to deal with that. And at the same time, we need Pink Slime to be able to make uh, Stonework Factories. That's uh, is what I think they're called. These puppies over here. So yeah, you need this Pink Slime to get that stuff. Um... You actually got to produce it in the, what is it called? The Mob Slaughter Factory. And you have to kill mobs with it. It produces liquid meat and pink slime. You then have to place that pink slime in the world. And these little mobs got to spawn that, yeah, have to kill there. So that is what's going on. Uh, we're just going to do it kind of on top of the mob farm we already have. And then do the Wither Skeleton one, of course, where I kind of showed where we were doing it. I'm also make quite a few of those, actually. Let's do that. We'll need them for Stonework Factories later on, so it doesn't hurt. There we go. So... Let's go ahead and uh, I guess make the first one for the Wither Skeletons. That's going to be the Mob Duplicator. That's what we're going to use there. We're going to use the Essence we're getting from the other farm to power this one, basically. So that is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to need that. And we're going to need a Mob Imprisonment tool, actually, as well for the Wither Skeleton. So we'll get that done. Mob Imprisonment. This actually sits in the machine and pretty much tells it what to spawn. That's like a Pokeball. <laughs> so we're going to have to grab this Cursed Lasso here. Uh, we'll just throw down the Wither Skeleton, and then grab him with the Imprisonment Tool. <clears throat> that will just sit in the machine, and uh, yeah, tell it what to do there, so that's cool. Uh, we'll need some, some Ender Tanks, so let's grab some of them. Grab some Ender Tanks, Sweet. and I'll probably need some Cauldrons. There's not any chance that I have those on hand. <laughs> there we go. Here we go, probably just two of those right now. That's all we need. Uh, we're going to need some quantum tanks for the other setup as well, so we might as well grab them. I'm just thinking about everything we need. We need so many bits and bobs. I already got that. I knew I was going to need that. We'll need some points, so let's grab them. I already have some configured ones, even better. And maybe some conduit. Let's grab some conduit. We'll need some fluid conduit, I think. Um, just a couple, actually. <laughs> maybe some power conduit as well. So we'll have to go ahead and make this binder. That's this gravel, sand, some clay. Not a big deal. You do need to smelt the stuff down, so I guess I'll just throw that in the redstone furnace. And uh, I am not grout. <laughs> anyway, let's do that. Just trying to make sure we have everything, because I don't want to have to do a second trip. Oh yeah, the mob slaughter slaughter factory itself, so let's grab that. That's going to be the uh, one that actually gets us the two liquids there. Let's grab these there. Sweet. Go ahead and grab a gold gear. What else we need here? These non-stackables. So we'll do that and that, sweet, and two axes. And we should be good in that regard, so that's fantastic as well. And then we'll just look at the conduits and stuff. It's weird how they did this. Like, it's four different recipes instead of one single or dictated one. So you can't just, like, click the plus and have it grab the right item. A little strange. Anyway, let's go over here and make some conduit. Conduit is from Ender.io. It's fantastic. What is this? Fine Storage has conduit now? What? We're going to have to try that out later. Huh. That is actually really neat. So the cool thing about this, you can actually put up to four different kinds of conduit in a single block. So they've made a conduit for... They used to have one for AE. I mean, they still do. But they never had one for refined storage. It's just going to make cabling way easier. That is amazing. A little, little bonus right there. I like that. We'll definitely be using that later in the pack. But anyway, let's go ahead and make some of these. We don't need pressurized. Well, I guess pressurized are a little cheaper. Eh, you know what? <laughs> let's just make the ender fluid ones we're good let's make a couple power ones as well sweet these are just the base level ones they can only move 640 rf tick and maybe some item conduit just in case we need it it's good to have on hand anyway we'll just have to make some nugs out of the pulsating iron and now that we have all these materials we can just make these conduits all the time they're like my favorite thing on life so anyway i think we have everything oh some dye uh for the tanks there you go. I grabbed my translocators and I made ourselves a range add-on because I realized I forgot it. But anyway, we'll kind of pop that down there. I want to turn this one off. So we're going to actually put it right behind the mob masher because this isn't going to be something that needs to run all the time at all whatsoever. It's going to be kind of a short-term thing. Uh, you only need so much pink slime and we don't need any of the meat. But uh, yeah, definitely a thing. I'm just going to kind of break two holes right here. Probably throw these tanks down to the ground and that'll be how we kind of move the meat around so that'll work. Uh, we're going to grab some liquid translocators. Let's do that and that. Uh, we'll have to power this. It doesn't even matter how, I suppose. Let's just power it from the top, and that should be good. 
So I think that's effectively ready. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the mob farm back on because I did turn it off. Do that. And grab that there. The mob should go down. They should die. And, uh, yeah, it should be working here. Is that on or off? I don't know why it's still animated. But anyway, uh, we're getting a liquid meat. That is awesome. I'm going to pull the first bit of meat into there. Then I can pull the pink slime over into this one. And that's already filtered. I don't have to do anything else. Uh, we'll need several buckets of this to be able to get the pink slime. You basically just bucket it out, place it in the world, and after a set amount of time, it's kind of random, a uh, little pink slime will spawn. Kill that, and you have a chance of getting pink slime. It's not guaranteed at all. But anyway, we'll leave that. We'll let that build up, and then we're going to go ahead and work it here. I'm just not sure how I'm getting inside, because I didn't really plan this out very well. Let's do that. Grab you. Where am I? <laughs> I totally lost myself. Anyway, we'll get inside here, get this one set up. Should only take a second as well. Uh, before we actually go in there, let's go ahead and set up the tanks. So the ender tanks, one will have to be on the same channel. So let's grab some gray dye. Uh, let's go ahead and make it gray, 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 I suppose. So gray, gray, gray. And that'll be fine. Let's grab ourselves, again, a liquid translocator. I guess not. We're going to use an ender conduit because we're out of translocators. Let's do that. Oh, we got that glowstone, or glow ball there. Set that to extract. We're going to turn off the insert channel because we don't need it. Go down here. And uh, this one here, I'm going to set this one. I'm going to turn off the extract. i only leave on insert. And uh, that's just going to pump liquids into the tank there. So we actually have everything we need. And that is pretty cool in itself. For some reason, I keep dropping things. Uh, the next thing we need to do is get the liquids and some power to this. So we're going to put it in the center of the room. It's actually going to sit right here. So we're going to grab the mob duplicator. Kind of pop it right down right there. we we'll probably have to dig under here to get everything into it. Maybe down here. That should be good. Let's go ahead and throw down a point. So a point's going to sit right there. We can actually power the point, or I should say the mob duplicator, or I should say the cable actually, just by kind of connecting it right there. And that's getting power. You can see there it takes, what, 5,000 RF at 80 RF a tick. So every 62 ticks, it actually should pump out a mob here. But we need to put that in there. It'll be the last thing we do. Uh, the next thing we're going to do here, we need to hook up uh, the fluids, right? I haven't kind of coated that tank yet, have I? Let's do that. Set it to the right channel. So you, you, and you. There we go. Light up. Get some fluids in it. That one's good to go. And, uh, we should be able to just pop that down there. And because these are conduits, they'll all go in the same block. So we just kind of put it right there. And, uh, we're going to set this one to extract. And make sure it's set to only insert. Now that should be full of essence. So that's exactly what we want to see. And uh, this thing's already ready to go. So <laughs> pretty awesome that we got it going so quick. Do that. Do that. Mimi. Close that up here. I, I'm not sure how much uh, essence it takes to kind of make each mob. But we're going to be getting it nonstop. So it doesn't be better. Uh, I think that's good there. In this, I threw some upgrades. So we have the mob masher upgrades like the other one. Same as looting. Also threw in the uh, beheading one. So the beheading one took a whole bunch of helmets and some nuggets and some redstone. Just have 10 in there for the max. And, uh, that is pretty good as well. So I think this is ready to go. Let's set it to paused. Let's throw the imprisonment tool in there. And I may just have to turn this on and get out. And oh, I forgot vector plates. I forgot I was using fans. So I need uh, something to push them on the sides. Let's go make uh, some of those. Uh, I guess we could use the ones for mob guarding utilities. I actually like those. Uh, let's go to at mob. What were they called? Conveyors? These things? Entity conveyors. Let's make a couple of those, man. <laughs> Get those in there. And then this should be effectively ready. I just don't know if I have enough drawers. And uh, we just had need to kind of throw out a collector as well. Yeah, that's exactly enough, actually. Six. I didn't even think about how many we needed. <laughs> anyway, okay, so they go that way. There we go. And that's there. I think I have my lever behind the drawer controller too, so I'm going to have to break that to kind of get this turd on. But anyway, after this we'll have wither skeleton heads, and uh, yeah, we should be able to get into withers before log. So yeah, that'll work. That'll push me there. That'll be fine. Let's uh, turn this thing on and run. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Uh, well, I guess we're not doing very good at running, but uh, we do have skeleton spawning. Oh my goodness, why can't I get out of here? That's the only thing about this ring, it's so fast. I have an army of uh, wither skeletons down there trying to catch me. Thankfully, they can't get to me. <laughs> there you go, buddies. Uh, I, I don't know how many. There's like a max limit to let it spawn, I think. 
So I don't ha think you have to worry about it kind of spamming your world. I should just leave that kind of like that, right? And I have to get back in there. I know there's space. There we go. We got a bunch of them in there. Let's go ahead and turn on our fan. So they're all getting bunched up in the center there. I should have to just break this puppy. Sweet. And uh, flick this lever. <laughs> and they just got slaughtered. That's awesome. I'm definitely going to need a sound muffler over here. So we'll get that in a second. And I'm going to pop that right there. We're going to grab an advanced item collector. We're going to set the area. Probably about that, actually. Maybe one more. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I have it set to... I'm going to have to unlock this, actually. I locked these. It's the one time I've locked this and I didn't want to. Uh, let's head over here for a second. Do I have a key in here? Yeah, I do. I have a drawer key. And what was the other thing I needed? There was something else I needed. I can't even remember right now. Uh, we'll kind of figure it out in a second. Anyway, let's do that. Let's kind of get this kind of unlocked. And there we go. That didn't take any time at all. Got all the items. There's probably going to be loot bags and stuff too, right? Can't think of what else would be there. Oh, yeah, the heads themselves. Not going to be a problem. Let's go ahead and grab a few more drawers because that's definitely not going to be enough. Let's do drawer. I didn't think there would be that many, to be honest. But anyway, let's do that. There we go. Head back over. This is definitely going to need some void upgrades and stuff like that, but I can deal with that later on. I just need to kind of get enough for all the loot. Going to grab some more stuff. Oh, there's sulfur here too. We've got our heads. We've got that. Um, let's grab some 2 by 2s For one mob, that is a lot of mob drops, actually. <laughs> now that I look at it. Oh, we already got a... I wonder what this guy does. I haven't seen this one yet. Wither skeleton. Take him. Stop bouncing off walls. Can I do that? I just want to get him lined up here. Did he give me a head? I think he just gave me a head. <laughs> okay, I wonder if that's like a time thing. Every once in a while he gives you a head maybe? Because that's pretty cool. Anyway, that is awesome. Let's kind of see if we got pretty much all of our loot. It looks like we pretty much have everything. There'll be a couple more loot bags. And then that'll be pretty much it. I'll be able to lock it. I'll just leave it open right now. Come back and sort it out later. But uh, yeah, we already took care of both, which is pretty awesome. This here, how much uh, pink slime do we have? We have 17 meat. <laughs> Three buckets of pink slime. Let's uh, go grab a couple buckets here. doesn't really matter where we put this down, so I'm just going to shove it down here somewhere. Throw it on the ground and then wait for a bit. And then one of these guys should spawn uh, out of the source block of this stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's random. It could sometimes, it's like a couple ticks after you put it down. Uh, I've seen it take up to five minutes. So I'm going to probably do this for a few minutes. Kill a couple of these little pink slimes. Once I'm done, we'll probably get into deceiving and kind of move on. Because, uh, yeah, I think we've handled everything here. It doesn't look like we have any random loot. Oh, I forgot about experience. What should we do about that? I'll just use another one of these. I'll, I'll also go ahead and make one of those uh, experience collector things from Thermal as well. And let that deal with the experience in there. Anyway, I'll be back in a few. Oh, is that a pink slime? We got one right there. You guys can actually see him. <laughs> He's actually got a hat. He's got a helicopter in his head. What a goofball. Let's see if we uh, actually get this. Why am I doing this either? There we go. <laughs> Sky green. And uh, we didn't get a pink slime though. But uh, yeah, I'll keep doing this. And uh, hopefully we'll get a few. We only need, I think, three right now. There you go. I went ahead and got us a uh, good amount of pink slime here. So we got five of them. That's good enough for now. I also uh, guess I set this up to automatically pull the bags uh, into the system. So the bag opening system is kind of controlling that. And uh, everything is going pretty good here. we got a good amount of materials. we got eight stacks of Wither Skeleton uh, Skulls already. And uh, yeah, everything is just working great. I did have to light that up because I was letting passive mobs spawn there. I didn't even think of that. But uh, yeah, working pretty good. We're going to move on. You can see I went to the old base and grabbed our meshes and stuff as well. Uh, we're going to need them to kind of set up the sieving, so we'll get that done. Go here, let's go to a sieve, check that out. Uh, we're going to need three of these for right now. We may do another one later on, so uh, I guess maybe maybe more. Because you can do, what, crushed netherrack, or no, crushed down netherrack. Uh, you can do crushed endstone, which can give you draconium. We may end up doing that one. And uh, there's also uh, soul sand, but uh, yeah, for right now, this is probably all we need. Uh, the kid has kind of started. Oh, that's a quest. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Is that a quest? Really? Where's that one? Let's grab, I guess, you right here. Maybe? Can I click on you? That'd be wonderful. Down. What's this one? Let's grab you as well. 
and went, let's kind of see what we got. Did we get anything good? Did I get a skull fire sword? Because <laughs> I'd kill for one of those. Some chance cubes. Definitely not setting those off of my base. Uh, some epic bacon. So let's kind of drop that off and uh, kind of move on. Let's get rid of you. I don't think I need the translocators either. I do need the rest of the stuff though. I know something we need here. Let's go grab uh, a couple buckets of lava. The way we're going to do that is just with these lava eggs. <laughs> Probably the easiest way to do it for right now. Super fast anyway. Let's grab three of you. I mean, we only have, you know, thousands of buckets of lava in the nether. But anyway, let's do that. Uh, we need to go ahead and make the stonework factory. So let's do that. We're going to make three of them right now. I'll definitely be going through quite a few of these things. Uh, what do I need to craft? Probably three of these. Two, three. Drop them off and probably a few furnaces. Two, three, and hopefully we have the water. I guess we'll find out here. What are we missing? Oh, I think we can do crafting tables. <laughs> I can manage that. Sweet, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get three of them. What am I missing? What am I missing? Nothing, I don't think. Oh, it's just uh, yeah, the pig slime. There we go. Plus the non-stackables. So that should be everything we need, I think. No, we need filters uh, from Ender.io. That's going to be kind of the key part of getting this kind of clean and compact, which is what I'm kind of going for with a system here. So we'll just do a good amount of the filters. And, uh, grab, I guess, that many of them. <laughs> there we go. We're going to set up over here. I moved the rest of the machines down there. But uh, for right now, first thing we're going to set up is the material stonework batteries. So they'd go something like this here, maybe. Something like that. From there, it's going to go into the auto sieve. So we'll just place those down. Well, they place weird, don't they? Let's kind of set up the sieves this way. I say different way each time I say that too, sieve and sieve, because it doesn't matter which way I say it, someone gets mad. So <laughs> it's just a running joke now with me. I think it's kind of funny. But anyway, let's do that, do that, and uh, let's do that there. Kind of kind of turn off all the sides of this. You can just shift click uh, the middle part there, right there. Kind of disable all the sides. The only sides we'll need probably is the backs. Uh, set the in and out. That should be all we need there. Let's do that there. And that one as well. Okay, so these. These are pretty much ready to go. So let's go ahead and get everything powered up. Let's go. Oh, we're going to need a compactor too. I'll have to get that crafted real quick. But anyway, we'll get the power on at least. Let's do that. That can go pretty much anywhere. We'll just throw it right there and uh, get that going. Uh, everything's powered up. Uh, the next thing, I guess, will be that compactor I just spoke of. <laughs> Let's grab one of them. This is going to take all the materials that we kind of uh, sieve sieve down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, just make it all kind of compressed for us. Kind of handle that part. What do we need here? One more crafting table. Kind of grab that. And grab that there. So I handle that. Also going to need this trash can. It's very important. We're going to take that and uh, probably throw it right here compactor doesn't really matter where it goes we'll throw it there and then we'll grab what is the last part of this so it would be a crate right there we go it'll probably be two crates honestly so we'll take one there and one there that looks good so next thing we're gonna do is uh set up all the item cut to it so <laughs> pretty straightforward there we're just gonna kind of wire up everything and everything's gonna have a little bit of different settings oops missed one do that probably have to have a line there as well it didn't break that so, everything's kind of ready to go. First thing we need to do, though, is start producing our correct materials. So, these stonework factories are basically cobble gens that have extra functions. So, I could tell it to grind things down. It's going to start making gravel, which is pretty cool. I could also, you know, make a, you know, smelt it down or craft and other, other stuff. We only care about the grind mode right now. But, uh, that one should make sand there. And then we should do a triple grind. Oops. That's why I keep turning them off, too, because it kind of makes random materials if you've got to start clicking stuff while you're in them. There we go. And that one should start making dust there, right? Yes, sweet. Okay, so that is the first part of it. So the first thing we need to do is get those materials into the proper machine. So we're going to set a extract filter on each one of these. So extract, going to need a filter. Extract will need a filter. And again, extract will need a filter. Sweet. Okay, so that handles that. <laughs> uh, we're going to need to... Get those materials, like I said, into the right one. Uh, I could do channels too, but I want to use the channels. They're going to be doing several things at once. So anyway, we'll got to go over it this way. Uh, I guess I could do it that way. 
No, because I would have to do a different extract filter makes more sense for this. Because I'd have to do three different colors. Anyway, let's grab a little bit of those materials out of each machine. So we'll grab that, grab that, and grab you. And then on the inserts, uh, not the inserts, or the extract, extracts, I should say. Uh, we'll go this here. Which way am I going? Uh, I'm, I'm a little confused here. I want to go here. <laughs> this one's going to be gravel, right? This one is going to be uh, sand. And this one's going to be dust. So let's do that, that, and that. Then on the green channel, we want to insert uh, into this one. How, how am I going to do that? This doesn't have mesh. I'm going to have to do insert filters too, aren't I? Huh. Yeah, because otherwise it's going to end up in the wrong spot. Mm hmm. I guess I could do. How am I going to do that? Extract filter, extract filter. Yeah, let, let's just do the filters. I think I could have done this a different way, but at the same time, this will work. And it's probably just a waste of a couple filters. But uh, this way, I can guarantee the materials will go exactly where I want them. So let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that there. So let's go over here and disable this redstone mode. We just need to turn it off on every one. And the materials start, should start going into the proper machines, right? Hopefully. Insert. Oh, I have to turn on insert. <laughs> that helps. There we go. Uh, we'll need extracts on these ones too, but there we go. So we're all getting their materials now. That's fantastic. We're going to go to the front of them. Uh, just throw some meshes on. We can enchant these meshes, but we'll probably get that into uh, into that in the next video. Kind of get that done. There's a couple different ways to do it. But anyway, these are kind of getting materials now. Certain ones I'm going to void off just straight up because I don't really care about them. Uh, we're going to go to a insert filter on this one. I'll uh, probably insert on brown on this one, actually. So we'll do that. I just need to kind of figure out exactly what we're going to do here. Sky stones, one I definitely don't need. I do not need charred service either, so we'll get rid of that. Keep that stuff. Uh, I know there's going to be ancient spores as well. And, uh, I guess we'll have to wait till we see it here. I'll just kind of start setting the filter. Let's do you. Let's do you. That works. So we're going to do a extract on brown on all of the actual sieves. So we'll do that. Extract on brown always. Extract on oops, brown always, right? So we'll do that. Grains of affinity. I'm going to have to do... I'm going to do this. I'm going to need a insert on brown on this one as well. Let's do that always. Right? That works. Well, why did I do that? I don't need extract on that one. Uh, insert on brown, right? There we go. So this is going to start getting materials. You know, is it going to keep getting sand and stuff? No, it shouldn't, right? I don't think so. No, because it's all brown. Anyway, we shouldn't have to worry about that. Kind of watch this. See if there's anything we don't need to hear. Like flint. Where am I getting flint? Flint? I mean, it's okay we have compressed flint. It doesn't hurt to have it. This just seems a little strange. Oh, yeah. Flint comes from uh, the sea. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, just kind of watching this for a second just to see exactly what we're getting. That works. This is going to get voided off. That needs to go to a crate. How am I going to do that? I'm going to have to do a separate line for that one, maybe. Oh, I'm just thinking about that. I'm going to have to have another insert on brown, I guess. Let's do, let's do this way. This one's going to have a filter. So we'll do that. We'll do a insert on brown. I need to grab the correct materials for this one. Oh, it looks like I already grabbed it. Let's get rid of you, you, and you. These are basically the ones I need to filter right here. I didn't set anything to the filter, so just automatically put them in here. Uh, let's do that. And uh, the filter is going to be grains and infinity, blaze. These are things I can't get uh, compacted down, right? So we're just going to put those right there. So I can put those back in here. Uh, the sky stone's going in the trash, right? That's the whole plan of that. Yeah, this was another one. I knew there would be ancient spores. Kind of grab that. There should be basic certus too, which I haven't seen yet. Is that it right there? Certus crystal? Yeah, I don't care about those AE2 stuff because I don't plan on doing it in this pack. And uh, possibly gunpowder too because, uh, again, we're already getting it from two places. We don't need it here. Anyway, that should handle that. That should handle that. Uh, we're going to need extract on this one. And this one's going to feed two places probably. It's going to feed into this crate. This is basically the finished crate. And it's also going to feed into uh, these here, which are going to be... Uh, what are these ones? This one is basically... Oh, I don't need this one. Let's do it this way. 
which actually makes it more sense to do it this way. So let's do it this way. I'm going to do an extract on the compactor. Let's do this. We're going to insert into it. There we go. So it's going to take all that, put it into this crate here. Once it's in this crate, we can kind of start doing sorting. So once I have this kind of system hooked up into refined storage, I'll be able to pull out these kind of items right here and uh, these ones as well uh, and just automatically input those into the system. And that'll be kind of be where they stop in this chain. The rest of the stuff up here needs to get into the smelters. So we'll do that real quick. So let's do on these ones would be, let's go to blue, extract on blue. Oops, no, let's do, sorry. That would be, we're inserting on green, right? Or sorry, Bram. Let's do, yeah, extract on blue on this one. It'd be insert on blue there. There we go. So it'd be blue, insert on blue. Oops, that's not blue. And insert on blue. And, uh, that should start once I do this, right? So if I do that, are they starting to go in there? Well, there should be standard there, but anyway, there won't be after that. And, uh, that's gonna, going to just start smelting everything down automatically. So that's pretty cool. We're just going to get them kind of sped up here really quickly. Awesome. And I got coils too, right? Yeah. Sweet. So that's going to go pretty fast. Get the sand out of here, bad. There we go. Everything working good. Looks like it. Blocks of coal. That'd be another thing that could get pulled out of back of the system. That as well. I'll handle all that. And uh, yeah, that should be good. <laughs> uh, actually, I may have to do something about that. That's going to get automatically smelted down, isn't it? So let's actually do a filter on the extract as well on this one. So we'll do that. I just need to sit on this single block because it will get smelted and I don't want it to. So let's do that. I guess we'll just set a uh, blacklist on this one, actually. Let's do that. Oh, it took my redstone too. Who <laughs> did it? Where did it end up? Oh, it's in my inventory. Okay, because otherwise that will get smelted down to the flux and I don't want that. But everything else should be going, right? Yeah, everything else is going. Uh, we just need to set an extract finally. So an extract here. We'll probably go to purple on this one. So extract on purple. Extract on purple. Extract on purple. And this will be the finished smelted down product. So we'll just do an insert on purple and then disable the redstone on all the channels. There we go. And there we go. So that should start coming in. Let's get rid of that stuff because that should be in the system. It should be, again, a problem after it's all kind of going here. Yeah, that looks like it's working. That's good. Just need to make sure there's nothing left in these machines. And if so, it's working. It's already functioning completely. It looks like we're all filtered. Yeah, looks like we're good. There we go. It's taking the Eulerium. It's probably turning that into your Uranium, but that's fine. There we go. Cool. <laughs> that actually worked really well. Okay, cool. It's not backed up at all. And uh, enchanting these meshes will definitely make it go faster. But uh, for right now, this is fine. And uh, like I said, we'll probably get into that in the next video. But uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome, man. Look at that. They're just hammering stuff out. Just all crazy. I've gone ahead and let this thing run for a few more minutes. And it seems like everything is working fine. Uh, I did find two little small mistakes here. Uh, first off, I didn't actually put the filter in this machine. And I didn't have a uh, dust filter properly. It was just putting it in there because it had nowhere else to put it. So I did add the filter there. And that's fine. The other mistake I made. Where was it there? Oh, it wasn't really a mistake, as these were both uh, set to insert and on the same priority. So stuff wasn't trying to go to the trash can first. So I went here and upped the priority for by one. That way, the certus and stuff will never try to go into that machine. They'll always try to go to the trash can first and always get voided off. And, uh, makes them so they're not fighting for, you know, the same material. And uh, that works out. So, yeah, I should never see the certus in there anymore. So that's what I'm going for. And uh, everything else just working. It's kind of just producing. It's moving stuff around. It's doing exactly as it should. And once we have refined storage kind of properly set up, I'll be able to pull in the materials from here and the materials from here, and then it'll be good to go. And uh, yeah, pretty awesome, man. Friggin', friggin' turned out well. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.